Picture this, you are frantically searching for that brilliant idea you had last week, or that crucial client meeting notes, or maybe that life-changing book passage. Your heart races as you flip through countless tabs, notebooks, and folders. Sound familiar? In today's digital age, we are drowning in information. The average professional deals with hundreds of emails, messages, articles, and ideas daily. Our brains simply aren't designed to handle this information overload. Luckily, Tiago Forte's second brain methodology offers a revolutionary solution to this chaos. It's not just another note-taking system, it's a comprehensive framework for capturing, organizing, and utilizing knowledge effectively. Forte recommends using Notion, and that is what I'm going to use, but you can replicate this in any app you are currently using. The system operates on four key principles, with the acronym CODE. Capture. Save anything that resonates. Ideas, insights, articles, meeting notes. We will see later how to do this effectively. Organize. Structure information using the PARA method. I will explain this in a minute. D stands for distill. Extract the core ideas and insights. You need to write a summary with your own words at the top. E stands for express. Transform your knowledge into tangible outputs. The idea is that you make your content available to other people. In my case, I create these videos, but you do you. Now, let's talk about how you organize the data with the PARA method. I will create four sections in Notion. The first one is projects, current active tasks, example, launching a new feature or product. Projects have a start and an end date. A stands for areas, ongoing responsibilities. Example, team members, team health. These are things you will focus on, but that don't have an end date. R stands for resources, topic of interest. Example, new frameworks, documentations, leadership articles, meeting notes. You get idea. A stands for archive. Completed or inactive items go here. This is super important because it will help keep the other sections clean and also ensure you don't lose anything. I think it's easier to get the idea with an example. Let's say you are working on a product launch. Under projects, you create a section for the product launch. You need to add all the steps involved in the project. You will likely have a lot of meetings to talk about each step. I like to have all my meetings in a central location that is under resources. Each node will have a list of participants. In this case, participants are in areas. Also, each node will relate to a project and potentially to other things. While working on this project, I will probably read articles or books on the topic and compile my notes under resources, but make sure to link to the project steps that relates. Once the product is completed, everything moves to archive for future references. Tiago includes an extra section called the inbox, and having this section is what really makes the entire framework clicks. Without it, try to add new items directly into the correct place can be time consuming and slow your progress. But by initially capturing everything in the inbox, you can easily sort items into the right sections whenever you have a few minutes allowing for a smoother, more efficient workflow. I will leave a link to a Notion template I created that you can use for free. Now you know how to use Second Brain. Next, you should know how to master your calendar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.